this time we're in Oklahoma at a secret private salt location and there it is look at that white sandy looking place but it's actually salt look at all that salt what and here's a really nice piece of this salt which is called halite crystals that was found on a piece of driftwood that you'll see here in a few minutes being pulled right out of the stream bed Here we are at On the Salt, this private location located in Oklahoma. And what we have here are halite salt crystals all in this place. So before we go down to where these crystals are, we're seeing this gypsum just laying around everywhere. Look at all this. So what's going on is you've got a layer of gypsum here and then different layerings of things and you've got a salt dome and what's happened here is you've got this river the stream cutting into this salt dome i mean just look at all that salt welcome down onto the playa here um, i call it on the salt it's super salty um, all the water is saturated with salt so it grows halite crystals um, you can see the tops of all this is a gypsum dome. It's a layer of gypsum on top of Permian red dirt. Um, and then down here in the water table, there's a salt dome that interacts with this riverbed. So, I mean, already you can start seeing cubic crystallization. You know, this is the first sign that we're doing all right, is this cubic crystallization. Oh, yeah. So. You can tell we're getting to where salt's been concentrated. So here you see where the crystallization has actually occurred on this log. Pretty wild, huh? Just thousands of tiny crystals all in this top layer. So here we are out on the salt and we're starting to get into the areas where the salt has remained concentrated even though there's been so much uh, surface rain. And so we've got a piece of driftwood from the creek bed. So would we want to leave this alone so you can come back later and, um, and have better crystallization? This place, is, this place changes so quickly that, you know, it's get your picture while you got it. And if that piece of wood calls to you, I'd get it now because it might not be back. It these. might be totally different in a week and a half. Oh, uh, okay. Look at all these crystals just... So Aaron's telling me that this looks like a jawbone or just a weird rock. We're not sure yet. Let's see what we got here. I think it does, it's does look like a bone. Oh, look at the teeth. Are you kidding? Let's try to shake it off in the water. Oh my God. What is that? What kind of jaw? I think it's a mule deer. I mean, I'm going to make a wild guess and wow. I'm going to assume it's a deer. It doesn't look big enough to be bovine. That is wild. And look at this. You've got a layer of salt crystals right around the top. Oh my gosh. That's pretty. I love the color. That's epic. Oh man. Where's the other half? Oh, look at that. So you got the halite crystals that formed right around where it was sticking out of the water. So we're in the main center part where the biggest cubes are going to be right now. And look what we're already seeing. Look at this. They're just all over the place. So what we've got here is a tumbleweed. And what's really awesome about this thing and peculiar is that you can see here how the actual tumbleweed sticking out above it, but then right below the surface, you get all this crystallization. All right, so we're gonna walk on up and check out some more. So we're walking up to this main area here and we see these ridges. So this is a pressure ridge. The salt, as the water evaporates off the playa, leaves more and more salt behind. The halite grows more firm and it creates a pressure on itself because, you know, the salt surface is loose from the, from the sand. You know, this whole thing can technically slide and so it, press, it puts pressure on itself. Wow, this is like being on another planet. I've never seen anything like this. I mean, just 
look at the way the water has contoured the bottom out and then on the edges you have the salt crystals forming just spectacular so let's check out some of this a little bit closer here you can see where the real thin layers are little bitty pieces of tumbleweed have grown into some salt crystals and here we have a piece of driftwood you can see on the bottom there shaped kind of like a heart with the salt crystals that grew all over the top just around the bottom here you can see the better crystallization of the halite really really cool look at this this is really cool here Ooh, hoo -hoo. look at this branch now that is awesome really nice crystallization going all over this piece of wood I think that's the keeper right there You can really see the nice detail of the crystallized salt halite on this piece. So far the find of the day. Check this out. This water is coming out at a pretty rapid rate right out of this natural spring. And because the water is coming right underneath the ground right through the salt dome, it's super saturated and very salty. These big chunks. Look at that. Now that's cool. It formed over the rock. Wow. Talk about a matrix piece. <laughs> oh. You can see just from having my hands in that water for just a few seconds and then the evaporation I'm starting to get salt attached to my hands. Are just mini highlight crystals. Look at this. You'd gather a bunch of them up. You know? So here, what we have are these halite crystals, and I was wondering what this was. So I broke a piece off, and it's a thin layer of gypsum inside. Let's see if we can. Look at that salt's growing on both sides of it but the ridge was a piece of gypsum or pieces of gypsum you can see right there the gypsum inside and the halite salt crystals growing all the way around it a few more of those gypsum those flat gypsum plates that are just covered with the salt I mean man how cool is that? And then you got just sporadic crystals laying all over the place. But look at the little ripples. You can see the ripples on the bottom of the contour and how the salt crystals formed along the ridge of those ripples. Really interesting. So walking along and I see another tumbleweed. So I'm going to pick this one up. We're going to check this out. It looks like they're attached. Yep. All to it. You can probably just hold it by that. Yeah, look at this. The tumbleweed acted as a uh, component to help uh, stabilize the crystal growth. So the crystals just grew all over it. Here's a section of some pretty good sized crystals. It's just kind of neat and fun to run your fingers across them and grab up a handful of these crystals at a time. So here in another section, I find another cool stick. Yep, this one's going to be a little fragile. They're kind of coming off, but you can see how they just attach themselves to anything that's in this creek. Aaron told me once that they actually found a tarantula that had gotten in here and died and the crystals grew completely around the tarantula. Here's a picture of that piece. You can see the formation of the crystals, the way they grew right around all the legs of the tarantula spider. 
this is towards the edge where there's not as many salt crystals but we're going to walk down here and Aaron tells me there's a little spot right along that cliff side that we may can find some selenite or some gypsum crystals so let's go see what we got here is a really large halite salt crystal cluster right here at the Red Dirt Rock Hounds headquarters in Woodward, Oklahoma. Aaron's got a lot more of these up for grabs, and you can find him also on Facebook at Red Dirt Rock Hounds. Check them out. And to help support this channel, please like and share, and we sure do love your comments as well. Thanks for watching.